Hello, this is Jacob Bolton, associate pastor here at Westminster Presbyterian Church in Alexandria, Virginia. And happy Mardi Gras. Now, I know what you're thinking. Today's Monday, February 8th. Mardi Gras isn't until Tuesday, February 16th. Come on, Jacob, what are you thinking? Well, as we all know, the full season of Mardi Gras lasts from Three Kings Day, Epiphany, all the way until Mardi Gras, French for Fat Tuesday, the Tuesday before Ash Wednesday. It could be an entire season of the liturgical year. Now, other than cool hats, beads, good food, what else happens during Mardi Gras? Well, people feast, people celebrate, people share the opportunity to be together in whatever fashion that looks like before the fasting season of Lent. Lent starts on Ash Wednesday, this year the 17th, Wednesday the 17th of February. And so this season prior to that doesn't have to be just a one day experience, uh, even though that would be a pretty cool weekend, right? I mean, next weekend could be Valentine's Day, President's Day, Mardi Gras, Ash Wednesday, back to back to back. But today, we are celebrating Mardi Gras for a handful of reasons. The first is that since I do Monday devotions and we don't do recorded devotions on holidays, this is my last devotion with you all before Lent. So we've got to celebrate Mardi Gras. Maybe Valentine's Day as well, but Mardi Gras. Also, a season of joy, a season of celebration, like the, the, like, like the season of Mardi Gras, is one that after the year we've all had together, to me, is one that we should definitely celebrate, is one that we should observe as righteously and as faithfully as we possibly can. Now, the very first Mardi Gras took place in 1703 in America. Um, that's, well, the very first American Mardi Gras celebration, excuse me, took place in 1703. Anyone know where? Mobile, Alabama. That's right. The uh, Gulf Coast, definitely uh, due in large part to the French connection, has uh, the longest history of celebrating Mardi Gras. And Lu Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama still have very robust celebrations. But no, it is not only in the Gulf Coast where we can celebrate. I encourage you over the next handful of days, because it is a season, to see how Mardi Gras is celebrated in other parts of the world. Uh, obviously, in Italy, Mardi Gras is celebrated through the festival of Carnival, uh, a huge carnival in Brazil. Um, and often many Caribbean islands have amazing festivities. Uh, in Poland, they make these amazing pastries that are so full of filling. It's sort of like most, you know, jelly filled donuts are mostly donuts and a little bit of jelly. And Mardi Gras, baby, these are mostly jelly and a little bit of pastry, if you feel me. Um, and so see how it's celebrated all throughout the world. Try to find a way that you can hold fast to Mardi Gras for more than just one day, more than just one day this year. We don't want Mardi Gras to only be Fat Tuesday. Um, at least I don't. I want Mardi Gras to be a bit longer than any and all of that. I hope that it can be from the moment you see this all the way until the 16th. Uh, which actually is obviously Fat Tuesday, um, before we commence our Lenten observance, observance on Wednesday the 17th. Now, you see me wearing this awesome hat. Uh, I've never been to New Orleans, uh, so I've never seen Mardi Gras there, but I have been down to portions of Alabama during Mardi Gras and been to a few float, uh, a, few, a few parades. I um, was able to do that with my family uh, a handful of years ago before uh, the pandemic, obviously. And uh, there was a large group of people that wanted their picture taken. And I walked over and was like, hey, you want to take your picture? So I grabbed some phones, took some pictures, and then they gave me this hat. Isn't that awesome? Very fun, actual, uh, you know, tchotchke, actual gift that I received um, during Mardi Gras. So anyway, for all of you that are celebrating today and over the next season, live into this time. 
explore how Mardi Gras is celebrated in different parts of the world, and then figure out the best way to celebrate yourself. Uh, maybe have some king cake, right? Uh, maybe um, uh, think about how you're going to observe Lent. Is there something you're going to give up? Is there something you're going to add to your life? Uh, and then, you know, if you're going to give up something, have it now. And if you're going to uh, do something new during the season of Lent, think about what that'll be during this time. Make this not just a fat Tuesday celebration of gluttony, but potentially a fat Tuesday celebration of creativity, of spiritual discernment, so that you can think about the best thing for you during the season that's upcoming of Lent. So anyway, uh, I will not be with you next week on Presence Day. I'll be coming to you all a couple weeks after that. And fingers crossed, my friends. Fingers crossed. The next time I'm with you in one of these devotions, I have passed my oral defense, and I'm the Reverend Dr. Jacob Bolton. Fingers crossed. All right, friends. Happy Mardi Gras. Much love. Hold fast. <laughs>